Hi, this is Stephen Paul West of I Found Something Beautiful. And today I have an inside scoop on an amazing event that's up, coming up here in Austin um, on September 16th. And this is an insight into arts and it uh, benefits the Austin State Hospital. Um, it'll be downtown. Now for $20 you're going to get into an art show that has uh, donated art by professional artists. You're going to get to uh, have free beer and wine. You're also going to get to taste the wonderful treats of the Austin uh, School of Culinary Arts. And on top of it we have a, a great, great musician that's going to be singing for us as well. And let's go ahead and bop out to Susanna's website. Now she's been featured at South by Southwest. There's all kinds of really good things. And I'm going to go ahead and click the listen link so you can take a listen to her music right now. Um, but I encourage you, I'll go ahead and put her link in the drop down to go ahead and take a listen to this. What an amazing artist. So for $20, you're going to get an amazing night out with a huge opportunity to enjoy yourself. So listen, this is really a great event, and um, I want to encourage you all, if you're in Austin, to get your tickets early. I'm going to put the link in the drop-down for you to uh, click that. Now, first off, let me talk a little bit about mental health here, because mental health is, is everybody. It is uh, somebody who's been in an auto accident and they have a head injury. It's, it's a teenager that maybe went to a rave one night and dropped something they shouldn't have auto. Uh, it's a, a young soldier that's just returned back from Iraq that, that maybe was uh, hit by shrapnel or lost some flesh over there. Uh, everybody at one point in time can use some help in a mental health arena. And these people downtown that take care of uh, our mental health health uh, here in, in Austin, Texas. They have amazing focus, amazing dedication. They're truly wonderful people. Uh, they are positive, they're focused, they're energetic. And on top of it, as an artist here in Austin, they have given us an amazing opportunity to come and visit. And really, truly, I want you to go ahead and bop out to the website, click the link and go down below, buy your tickets before they run out. Uh, and when you get there, the art will not be overpriced. I talked with the folks downtown. They're trying to raise money for an excellent cause, uh, replacing the, the, uh, the consumables that the patients have needed to consume, but also uh, quite a bit of a vision. And I'm going to talk a little bit here with uh, Cindy Reed, who's the Director of Community Outreach. She'll outline all the different benefits. So um, let's go ahead and cut over to Cindy for a moment. This is Stephen Paul West of I Found Something Beautiful and I'm here with Cindy Reed. Cindy, what's your position here with the state? I'm the Director of Community Relations for the Austin State Hospital. Uh, excellent. And what we're going to look at here is uh, patient art that's accumulated just this year or over yes, a couple years um, basis. We have a program here called Insights uh -huh. and throughout the year um, with patients they develop or create their um, paintings and we keep it and, and do this art show. Very good. Well I noticed that uh, there's a lot of wonderful works. These are amazing and also professional artists have donated. Well d you know certainly people that need help this is the kind of help that they can get that could make a real difference in their lives so I want to thank you for all this hard uh, work and this is wonderful. Because once the patients leave and they've gotten this incredible experience through the art, they'll be able to come back and maybe serve as mentors to other patients who are here, and then we'll be able to rent it out to other organizations in the community. So well, that is fabulous. wonderful. Well, this is one room uh, only. This is where the volunteers do all the, the matting and mounting, and it takes a long time to put a picture in a frame, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. And I never realized how talented our staff and volunteers are. Just cutting mats alone. It's a talent. <laughs> it is a talent yeah, to cut it just right and not have it go over and all of that. So are, are some of the volunteers that are doing the matting, are some of them former patients as well? No, it's mostly our staff members who are, are taking time to volunteer is it? on, on okay. their off hours. Well, real good. Well, I'll poke around in here and I'll take uh, some pictures of some of these wonderful works that we see. And uh, also I'll peruse the website. And uh, you're going to have to have a big van to move all of this over. This is a lot more art than what I had envisioned when I first heard about it. Yeah, we have 100 pieces of patient art um, matted and framed. We have about 45 pieces of professional art. And then we'll have about 150 pieces of sleeved art that is not matted or framed that... Um, our participants can buy and take home and put their own mat and frame on it. And uh, tickets are available for this show still uh, through the website? Ashvolunteers.org, mm -hmm. 20 bucks. 
Um, the Austin Culinary Academy is doing all of our food. Oh, we'll have good food. I know, it's going to be fabulous. We um, had a good musician lined up, too. Susanna, Susanna Chaffel. Yes. And um, complimentary beer and wine. For $20. No, you can't beat you it. You can't go downtown and no, do you that. Can't beat it. Oh, and free parking. And free parking to boot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, I mean, you can't even go and have one drink and one appetizer at a downtown bar for no. less than 20 bucks. And, and it's a ministry of health here that we're right. giving, and too. Right, and it goes to a great cause, and we hope to really... Um, raise you know about forty five thousand dollars so. well thank you very much cindy for showing this and like i say i'll, I'll get in here and, and do some documentation as well okay perfect thank Wonder. you thank you well, and we're going to talk about the healing power of art today and of course what springs immediately to mind is uh selma hayek's uh, portrayal of frida and how that accident of that young artist years ago caused her to uh, focus in on art and develop as an art culture and she found uh, healing and therapy even though her body was racked with pain through the uh, ministry of art and of course uh, here we're talking about uh, mental health here at the Austin State Hospital and how the uh, art therapists here give healing and and support and care to so many different individuals who need help and assistance and it will even be tricks for you to learn how to cope with life later on and we'll, I'll show you that segment a couple of very interesting pieces. Do you know the stories yeah, yeah, on those? Yeah, those were in my art therapy group. Um, a lot of times I'm working with folks to um, help them develop a ritual they can use with art to calm themselves, to ground themselves when they're feeling overwhelmed, when they might feel like they want to use drugs or alcohol. And a mandala is the circular form. Uh, it was written about a lot by Carl Jung. It's a very simple form to make. You trace a plate and then you start to complete it with a design that represents whatever is true to you at that time. So I have people use their their gut, really, to choose the shapes and the colors to create an image uh, that kind of expresses their mood at the time. But it has the containment of the circle. So if they're overwhelmed, it can only get so big. And they often find that they can it. relax and can focus and usually feel calmer. And, you know, I tell them, you know, you can have a kit of this stuff hanging around at your house for maybe ten bucks and you can take care of yourself using art. So. Well this is something that anybody can do now yeah. you know and, and now that mm -hmm. I understand the uh, idea behind it there's been times in my life where <clears throat> I've sat and doodled but now I can I can put a focus into it and make the circle and, and keep the doodle within it just to, to relax myself and focus my thoughts and uh, what a wonderful tool this is for anybody. And they're beautiful. I mean, and they are absolutely beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. And that's called the mandala. Mandala, M-A-N-D-A-L-A. -A -A. Well, mm. thank you very much, Beth. Sanskrit word for wholeness or unity. A Sanskrit word for yeah. wholeness. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And the Texas State employees care so much for their workers. Uh, some of these workers have had a uh, health care history of 37 years working with the mentally ill. And they are smiling and they love their jobs and they're fully committed. And what a commendable compliment I could pay to these workers. And this is Stephen Paul West and I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. All right, welcome back. Uh, now, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get a good video while I was there and, the, you know, I had the fluorescent lights and I wasn't able to capture the true dimension of these artwork. But let me tell you, seeing them in person, the framing is top notch. The images are just so vibrant and alive. And I went over here to Ash Bash Org uh, 2000 and I'm going to go ahead and just click on some of the patient art. And, and bring that up for you all to see. And as Cindy mentioned, there's be hundreds of pieces of patient art. There's going to be multiple uh, professional pieces of art. And all of these things um, are available for, for you to be able to view. But time is running out, and I just found about this myself, so I apologize for the late entry here. But it'll be September 16th. So for $20, you're going to get an amazing night out with a huge opportunity to enjoy yourself. 